Okay, here we are on the south-facing part of Heath Hill. It's 11:07 uh, on the 17th November. Trying to do some last-minute erosion prevention. If we have anywhere near the 20 inches of rain that they're talking about, we've got the 20, 2010 El Nino coming. And hopefully, we won't lose this road. Over and out. This is Dale Heller, January 17th, 2010, the dawn of the 2010 El Nino event. I'm trying to take a look at uh, a couple things along to try to prevent erosion. You notice the water now is the last two rain events. The water came down the hill, and I tried to catch it up above, but if it gets past there, it's going to come right down here and jump across the road and run right down the middle of the road and then dump over instead of going through that culvert there. So what I've done is try to direct the flow right down here in the the upside, uphill side gully to get down to that to that culvert right down there where you see that uh, depression over and out. January 17th, Dale Heller, next task is to kind of roll pack it drive over the loose dirt try to pack it in so you notice it doesn't pop out right there. And instead follows the terrain downhill. Over and out. Later on the 17th at uh, 12.30 now. A little farther down the hill. You see what happens when downhill flow meets chaparral. Here's a sagebrush, sagebush that uh, grew out and all the sediment stopped there, piled up, and then began to run across the road, down the road, where it begins, it misses the culvert on the right and starts dumping over on the left. Pay me now or pay me later. So on the 17th, now almost one o'clock, where the water flow used to cut across the road, now it's going to flow through where the bush stopped the flow. And right on down. Instead of going out into the road where it cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts and cuts And cuts. Over and out. Further on the 17th, I'm at uh, Maury's Tank Farm Road, where water kind of was running down. And I tried to run it off the side to keep it from doing this running out into the road. And then it runs down right down to Maury's place, and it makes a mess for Maury. Probably for the rest of us, too.